I'm Anthony Pepe, and this is my story. I started bowling when I was six years old, and I started taking it seriously when I was about 14. I was bowling junior tournaments, and I went professional when I was 24, so just a couple years ago, and here I am. If I wasn't a professional bowler, I, my mom's always bragging to me about, you know, applying for a city job, you know, working in sanitation or being a police officer and whatnot, but my heart is bowling. When I go down to the bowling center, I, um, I put out patterns, and what a pattern is, is pretty much uh, a challenge, you know, um, it's uh, different types of oil lengths, and uh, that w that's what makes me sharper as a bowler. Um, and then normally my, my routine is picking up the ball, wiping it clean, getting up on the approach, and, and going. My go-to ball is the Stolen High Road. I choose this ball a lot because it's, uh, it matches up with my game very well. Um, on most conditions, it, it helps me strike a lot. So that's definitely always in my bag when I travel to tournaments. My inspiration uh, is my mother. She's always driven me to become the best person I can possibly be for myself. And uh, she's always driven me to become a professional bowler because she sees how much dedication I have towards it. Well, there were many times I wanted to quit bowling and pack it up, but I've been seeing a sports psychologist for many years now, and he's helped me become a very strong person and bowler, mentally. So qualifying is, uh, is seven games, and then they cut the field into the top 24, and I had qualified ninth going into the last seven games of qualifying. So uh, after that was done, after 14 games, they total up the whole score combined and I ended up coming in third. So I, pos I positioned myself uh, for third going into the TV set. And they take top four to the ESPN final. Well, the day of December 14th, uh, we had a, a viewing party at Astoria Bowl, my home center where I practice at. And about 80 people showed up to, uh, to watch the show. Going into the last match against the Gallon, I uh, thought to myself, you know, count the frames down. You know, make one shot at a time. And then, you know, whatever happens, happens. So in the sixth frame of that last game, I left a seven pin and I missed it. And right then in the back of my head, I said to myself, it was a good run. You know, I made it my first TV show. I'm gonna come in second. You know, it was a very, very good tournament. And then Dick Allen gets up and he proceeds to leave three splits in a row for me to just mark in the 10th frame. And I, uh, I look back to uh, my coach at the time, who was sitting next to me on the TV set, and he just said to me, get up there and throw the best shot you can do. What's going through this young man's mind right now? For his sake, hopefully nothing, or not much of anything. The last time on this lane, he went light. Do you believe it? Yeah, baby, yeah! Good ball. Well, he saved his best for last, Mike. What a beautiful shot he threw here in the 10th frame. Everything he's dreamed about on this shot. What a gutsy performance. Had some great breaks go his way, but he still bowled great. And what a beautiful shot there when he needed it most. Choking back the tears with his last two shots. 
Anthony Pepe, you're a PBA Tour champion. What a great day for Anthony Pepe. Well deserved. Kid works hard. He's a great person. He's a great bowling representative. And he's got a great game. This kid's got talent.